Hello, Windcrafts fans. I'd like to discuss a strategy called Wayland's Ladder. Uh, we'll write a little Autobet script for it, playing multiple sessions, and we'll look at some data. Uh, Wayland's Ladder is a strategy I saw being played out on Vince Armenti's YouTube channel. I believe he has it posted there if you want to check it out. YouTube.com slash Vince, A-R-M-E-N-T-I. Uh, Wayland's Ladder is a fairly simple program. Uh, it's a loss progression win regression strategy. Starts with $25 on all the outside numbers. Place 4, 5, 9, and 10. Then, if any bets lose, all bets are going to be increased $25. If any bets win, all bets will be decreased $25. They all work on the come out roll. So it's similar to uh, the Dallin Bear system, increase on loss, decrease on win. The difference here, of course, is that all four bets are working together. They're all going to go up and down simultaneously. They're always going to be equal, the same amount. So let's try and see how we're going to make this into an auto bet script. It's kind of hard to start writing code right off the bat, so let's just write down what we know. We know we want to bet $25 on all out side place bets. We know that if any bets lose, we want to increase by $25 on all outside bets. If any bets win, we want to decrease by 25 on all outside bets. And we want to work on come out roll. And that's it, just those four things. So sometimes you write down your ideas and um, kind of look at them and you can see, well, certain things go together and work together and you can already start to maneuver them around. In this case, we've just got four simple little rules and nothing really pops out. So let's just start at the top. I'll take the first line and see if we can't make that into some code. So we want to bet $25 on all outside place bets. Well, in WinCraps, anytime you use the keyword all or any, you should follow that with parentheses because you're going to be enclosing a list. In this case, the list is just going to be all outside place bets. So I'll enclose those in parentheses, check the script, looks just fine. Okay, now anytime a uh, roll occurs uh, and the game has handled any winning and losing bets, then it's handed off to auto betting, and auto betting starts at the top of the script and works its way down. So after every roll, it's going to say, bet $25 on all outside place bets. Is that what we want? No, not really. Uh, we want it the first time when the bets are equal to zero, but we don't want it every time because we want it to be able to go up and down according to our winning and losing. So why don't we just enter in here a condition, as I just mentioned, if all the bets are equal to zero. So let me copy this. Control-C and control v to paste if all outside place bets are equal to zero then we want to make these bets all right check the script it looks good let's uh, check it out on here i want to start a new game and we just want to see if the bets get made and they didn't so what happened oh we didn't activate it yet okay so we'll activate it Bang, there's our bets. Okay, that's working good. So let's move on to the next line. Uh, if any bets lose, increase 25 on all outside bets. Okay, that's a conditional statement. We're not going to do it every time. Only if any bets lose. Again, here's the keyword any. So that has to be a parenthesis. If any bets lose, close parentheses, then now we want to increase by 25 on all the outside place bets. So we can do this a number of different ways. Um, you know, when Wincraps plays, it rolls the dice, it makes any decisions on winning or losing bets, it, it looks at your settings on the autoplay screen, and uh, then auto betting kicks in. Now, so auto betting can rely on whatever the autoplay screen does. And it could augment it or it could override it. In this case, I really don't want to rely on what that uh, is saying on the autoplay screen. I just want to bet something straight out. So we're going to write this in such a way that it really doesn't matter what's on the autoplay screen. So what do I want to have happen after a bet uh, loses or any bets lose? I want to say bet whatever was the last time on one of the bets. Since the bets are all equal, I can really pick any one of them. So let's say if the prior 
amount on place four. I want to bet that prior amount plus 25 on all outside place bets. Uh, actually, I'll tell you what here. Let's just go copy this. Control C. And we'll control B paste here. So if any bets lose, bet the prior amount of the place four plus 25 on all outside place bets. All right, does that make sense? Okay, this really could be place five, place nine, place 10. It doesn't matter. They're all equal to the same amount. And prior just means what it was on the previous roll. It doesn't matter whether it won, whether it lost. It's just saying what was on the table at the time. So this is what we want. We'll check it. Looks good. We can go back to the screen and see if it's doing what it's supposed to. First, we'll open up the Roll Your Own Numbers pad. Uh, let's set a point. Now, if I roll a 7 and make these bets lose, I expect them to be increased by $25. Let's check it out. There it is. It all went up 25 bucks to 50. If I do it again, now they all go up again to 75. Okay, so that's working proper. Let's go on to the next line. Now we want to say if any bets win. So again, we got to enclose in parentheses bets win. If any bets win, then we want to decrease by 25. Well, let's just use the same line we used before, only instead of saying plus 25, we're going to say minus 25. Control C, copy. Control V, paste. We're going to change the plus to a minus. Make sure it covers everything we said here. 25 on all outside place bets. That looks good. So we'll finish it up with um, end if. Check the script. Looks good. All right, let's go check that out on the table. So let's set a point. He said if any bets win, these should go down. So let's roll a 9 and see if that goes down to 50. Okay, yeah, it went down to 50. Let's roll another one. That goes down to 25. Let's roll a 10. What's going to happen now? Oh, they went down to 0. Okay, something's wrong here. We know we want to have a minimum bet of 25 on all of them. So after all is said and done down here, somewhere we have to enforce a minimum. So when if the bets are equal to zero, we want to rebet $25. We could enter in those lines here, but why? Isn't that the same as we had up at the top? If all bets are zero, then bet 25. Why don't we just take that line and move it? So control X to cut. We'll come down here to paste. Now we've reorganized and uh, now everything should work as it's supposed to. So let's start fresh here. There's our bets. Let's set a point. And we'll seven out, they increase, set another point. We bet, they go back down. Now, this time, if we roll, instead of going to zero, it should stay at 25. Okay, great, doing exactly what we want. So the last thing here, work on the come out roll. Uh, in auto bet script, what we do here is we just say call on, and then we make a list of what we want to call on, which bets we want to call on. So I'm gonna come up here and once again, control C to copy, control V to paste, call on all outside place bets. That's it. Check the script. Looks good. Come back to the table and we can start playing. So let's start uh, by clearing out the data, previous data. And we can run to hyperdrive. Let's do that by opening the bankroll screen. So on the bankroll screen, I'll slow it down here just a little bit. We'll take a look at it. You can see the plays going up and down. So far, it's looking pretty good. We're up to about 800 rolls. Okay, what happened there? All right, look, we went up, up, down, 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 bang. We bottomed out right here. We lost the bankroll, and that's just flatlined. So we're really done here. We don't want to look any any more of that. So we could go start another session. New. Now in this case, we'd like, we don't want to deselect these two items. We want to preserve previous sessions data and preserve sessions logs. So we're just going to say OK. And then we could go run another game. Now you can see it's a new game, new roles. And we can play a new game. And we can just keep doing that. And we can keep playing sessions and, and resetting them. Then we can go to the sessions log. And we can see what all our sessions have done. Uh, of course, right now, there's, there's hardly going to be anything. What do we got? One session there? So it's going to take a while to accumulate some data. 
So how about we let uh, Hyperdrive and Autobet do it for us. Let's go back into the Autobet script. And this time we're going to tell it to start a new session for us. So let's set up some criteria. When do we want to start new sessions? Well, the first obvious one is obviously if our bankroll, uh, if we zero out. So if the bankroll is uh, less than minimum bet, then start new session. Check the script. Looks good. Okay. Now, think about that. If the bankroll is less than minimum bet, I could have said if bankroll equal to zero, but there's sometimes when, depending upon the minimum bet you have set on the table, you can actually lose so that your bankroll is less than the minimum, but it's not zero. And then you're just sitting in limbo. You, you do want it to reset when you can't make any more bets. So I, I say if bankroll is less than minimum bet. But if we do this, every game that we play is going to show a session that's lost, right? Because it's only going to reset when it busts. We might have some very short sessions. We might have many thousands of rolls long. Uh, but they are all, are, are all going to reset when they bust. So we don't necessarily want that. It's not terribly useful. So let's set an upper limit. How about we say or bankroll is greater than or equal to beginning bankroll times 1.5 then start a new session check it out looks good okay what am I really saying here if the bankroll is greater than the beginning bankroll times 1.5 if the beginning bankroll is two thousand dollars times 1.5 that's three thousand dollars so if the bankroll is greater than three thousand then start a new session in other words we're saying that if our bankroll has increased by fifty percent then start a new session. All right, let's try that. I'm going to close that out. Let's start with some fresh data. This time we're going to clear out everything. And now we're going to start the hyperdrive. Now, in order to really get some useful data here, we're going to have to collect many thousands of sessions. And that's really going to take a long, long time here. I don't want to waste your time. So let's stop that and go to the sessions log. You can see it's already ran six games. But I ran earlier uh, 10,000 games for you, just so you can take a look at it, using a $2,000 bankroll. Let's start up here on the roll total screen. You can see here's uh, 10,000, well I guess it went to 10,001. Uh, basically a 50-50 split. The average session was 276 rolls long. The shortest one was 7 rolls long, and the longest roll uh, excuse me, the longest session was 2,202 rolls. If we look at the dollar amounts, one and lost, the net, here's our two outcomes. The one to the left, these are all our 4,968 losses. To the right is our 5,033 wins. The average session lost $476. Well, that's because when we lose, we're losing the full amount of our bankroll, 2,000. When we win, we're only winning basically a thousand bucks. We're winning 50% of our bankroll. So even though it's a 50-50 split, on average we are losing money. And if we were to look at the total data here, the sum of all these sessions um, was a minus four million, four point seven million. Uh, the total handle was 119.2 million. So it comes out to about minus four percent on the advantage. So you can play with that and see uh, what different kind of values you can get. You can try different bankrolls, set different bet amounts, set different betting criteria on the auto bet screen. Maybe instead of uh, resetting it 50% when you want to reset when the bankroll doubles. Maybe you want to reset when the bankroll increases by 20%. Uh, maybe you want to set an exact amount instead of a percentage. Maybe you want to just say when it increases, say, 100 bucks. Whatever you want, you can you know, set those things and give them a try. So um, one thing I've noticed that I wanted to um, change on here is uh, instead of doing place four and 10 bets at $25, I'll change it to buy four and 10 bets. I think those are a little more uh, beneficial. Uh, I'm gonna post this script on my website. If you wanna go pick it up, it's at cloudcitysoftware.com. So uh, check it out, have some fun with it. That's Wayland's Ladder. Bye.